What's up guys, this is Bolas from Racing Brick. Today is the big day when we can see the set T's first back in January, the mysterious 42111 Fast and Furious Technic car. Are you excited? Well I am, so let's see it. The iconic car from the movies is Dom's Dodge Charger. So, very first impressions, how do you like it? Pause the video, quickly write your comment and then come back. Ok, so let's take a closer look at the box. The form factor is a bit odd for a Technic set, seems to be almost square. We see the charger burning through a street with a blurry building and some trees and street lights in the background, might be a scene from the movie. There's the Fast and Furious logo and also the one from Dodge. This set seems to be very proud to be licensed. As you see on the box the set has 1077 pieces, the price will be 99.99 euros or 99.99 dollars and it can be pre-ordered on lego.com from today. It will be available for purchase from the 27th of April. So let's take a closer look. The iconic grille is the first thing to recognize, unfortunately LEGO did not break the habit and the parts that supposed to be chrome still come in grey, just like we saw with the Harry Davidson set. The charger emblem seems to be a sticker, although I can be totally sure. The huge supercharged V8 sticks out of the hood and as the LEGO gear with the chain seems to be spinning on the photo, apparently it will have a little more action in the front than the usual fake engine with the moving pistons. Now let's see the back. On the top we see the original car, although this does not seem to be a photo but some illustration of the real thing. Interestingly this is not the exact same model, since this one has a different grille and only the RT logo on the front, the LEGO version has Charger written there. Since the car appeared in multiple movies and will probably appear in the latest episode as well, at this point it is not sure which one was the inspiration for the LEGO version. At least we know this is not the one from Furious 7, since that was an off-road version. So, what else do we have on the back? The car measures 39cm, that's a bit longer than the Creator Expert Mustang, which is 34cm uh, long, but significantly shorter than the 42096 Porsche 911 RSR, which was 50cm uh, long. It is roughly the same length as the 42077 Rally car, which is 42cm, uh, although the proportions of that one are probably very different. There are the obligatory nitro bottles in the trunk and we can also see the car from the back with the double exhaust pipes, California plates and the rear lights. There seems to be the gear for the hand of God steering as well, an interesting placement choice but I guess it was selected to have a better look and avoid to put it on the roof. There are some system parts trying to replicate the shape of the body, we'll get back to this a little bit later. Here's a close-up of the engine bay and now we see that besides the moving pistons of the V8 there are also some extra rotating gears with the chain in the front, making the supercharged engine a bit more realistic. The last image is pretty interesting, as it shows a wheelie bar popping out of the bottom of the car, although the details about the mechanism are not clear. I guess this is similar to the one we saw in the LEGO Technic 42050 Drag Racer set, it can be used to display the car in this in-action position. There's also one thing we have to notice on the back and it was kind of expected, since it is a licensed Technic set, Following the latest trends, it does not seem to have an official B model, unfortunately. Let's see some details from the side view. The tires and wheels are the ones that were used in the 42041 race truck. I prefer the rear ones to be different with some fat tires, and in general, I think it's supposed to have slightly smaller rims, but I guess there was no perfect match from LEGO's inventory for the car at this scale. The car is black, very black, with very few stickers here and there. The chrome bits of the A and B pillars with the side windows and on the side of the roof are again grey, they look a bit weird as they are not connected, we'll see in real life how sturdy that construction is there. Another missing bit, there are no side mirrors. The previous set that received a lot of comments about the lack of side mirrors was the Fiat 500, that one had an excuse for it, but I'm pretty sure the car in the movie had them, so it's a shame that they are missing here. I need to talk about the part that I was secretly hoping to get but unfortunately not used here, the mudguard panels or wheel arches. I really thought that the expected size of the car will make it a perfect candidate to introduce the smallest mudguard panel in black, the one that is already available in several colors in some recent Technic sets. I would say the rear section seems to be ok with the panels used, but the front one is pretty crude without the proper wheel arches. I wanted to have a look how would it look like with them, so I quickly built the side of the car in LDCAD. This area around the wheel will not be this pronounced on the real car, as the inner structure will hide the shape a bit and the shadows will also help, but it still looks a bit unfinished. So when I tried to add the mudguard panel piece, I quickly realized why it was not used. The arch seems to match the wheel, but it really does not fit in the body. The shape is designed to be used on a smaller car with a different structure. 
On the other hand, if I try the bigger one from the Porsche set, that's way too big and looks totally out of scale. So despite my feelings, I have to say that there was a good reason why we don't get the small mudguard piece in black this time. But I'm sure the LEGO fan community will come up with some tweaks to make that front wheel area look better. Getting back to the side of the car and the overall shape, as you can see, there were some efforts to replicate the body panels of the original car, but I'm not totally convinced. On one hand, the LEGO version lacks the complex shapes and arcs of the original version, as it has only one bulge over the rear wheels. And on the other hand, the panels used along the whole body makes the car too rounded, without the prominent edges of the rear version. I have to emphasize that I would not have any better solution instantly to replicate the original with LEGO Technic pieces, but I have a feeling that this model could have been a better looking one, if it came out in the Creator Expert line, or even if the scale would have been different. I also understand the possible reasons behind it. Last year we had the Ford Mustang, so another American muscle car the next year could have been too early. And since it is tied to the movie, there was no choice to wait another year. Ironically, the movie will actually come out only next year, so LEGO still has a chance to create also a Creator Expert version. So let's see what else can we find out based on the official photos. Here's one without the door, showing us a bit more of the inside of the car. There's only one seat for the driver, with a slightly oversized steering wheel. There's a fire extinguisher and some gears that seem to connect to the steering probably. I still know see hints how this wheelie bar mechanism works. Probably it simply folds out manually. On this one we see that technically everything opens that has to open, the hood, the doors and the trunk as well. The functional steering is also confirmed, but that one is really a must for a Technic set. Talking about the steering, here's a close-up of the front axle without the wheels. You can see how the suspension is connected and how the steering works. Nothing unusual here, but it's nice to know the setup. The rear axle might be different from the ones we recently saw in other Technic cars. There is no clean photo of that setup, but it's probably the most visible on this one. There's a rear differential for sure, but the yellow shock absorbers are angled and there seems to be an unusual setup used there, with pieces almost touching the ground next to the rear wheels. I can't wait to find out the reason behind this, do you have any ideas already? Anyway, here are a few extra images for you to take a closer look at the car. So, what do I think about it based on these images? I really like the choice from Fast and Furious, this car had to be Dom's Dodge Charger for sure. The overall look is also good, the car is recognizable and big enough to have a lot of details with several working functions, including the fake engine, the suspension and other stuff. The price is also reasonable, despite the license theme it won't be more expensive than the rally car was when it came out two years ago and they have a very similar piece count. It seems to have a lot of playable features and also some extra display possibilities. On the negative side, the area around the front wheel seems to be unfinished and the overall shaping of the car does not follow the original on the sides. But again, I don't think this is a design problem, rather a consequence of the theme and the scale choice. One thing is for sure, I will definitely review the car in details when it will be available. So stay tuned and until the hands-on video, let me know what are your thoughts about it. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up, you can also subscribe and tap the notification bell if you want to see more technical reviews and other LEGO RC videos. See you next time, bye bye!